Hey, how are you all doing? This is Willem Alexander Coleman, aka Erasmataz, coming to you once again with another Erasmataz weekly show. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me as always. And yeah, uh, today's another Thursday, and I'm here with a very distinguished guest. It's been a while since I had guests on the show, but uh, today I'm with a very special guest. And uh, before I continue, I'd like to let you know that I'm here at the Baritas campus of uh, at Commonwealth Hall in, on uh, the University of Ghana campus. Uh, big shout to Mr. and Mrs. Arthur for allowing us to be here today. Uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. So yes, so now back to my guest. I'm here with Coach Vincent Abiu. He's uh, a renowned coach. He's uh, a super, uh, I don't know, how, how should I describe him? He's, he, he, he knows the ins and outs of the game, not just with not just the, the technical aspect of it, but then the other aspects as well, which we're going to have um, a, a chat about. So yeah, Coach, thank you, thank you very much for, for being here. It's always a pleasure. It's it's always a pleasure being with you. I've I've had the privilege of being on set, like several shows with Coach, and his his depth of knowledge is amazing, and I'm sure you've seen that uh, for yourself. Yeah, Coach. So. Uh, thanks again for being here, and uh, I don't know, could you please tell us a bit about yourself and exactly what, what exactly you do, so that uh, we can take the conversation from there. Okay, I think I'll make it simple. I, I coach, coaching for the last 21 years, so I'm into coaching, fitness, and nutrition. That is my real specialty. I'm a researcher into sports, findings into sports, so basically everything about the sports. I play the sports myself. Okay. So I was landed, I did a sprint, a hundred, a hundred, hundred. Okay. Yeah, for more school. Okay. I play basketball, I play volleyball, I play all those other disciplines. I saw so I was jack of all trade, master of all. <laughs> that's the that's the first. That's yeah, the first. I was jack of all trade. So the coaching, I mean, so right now, apart from football, would you could I call you a basketball coach and a volleyball coach as well, or your main focus when it comes to coaching is, is football? No, I think I do everything now, but for now, you know, it's easier to organize football okay. compared to other sports or other discipline. Mm. If you want to organize athletics right now, you need a particular mm -hmm. structure. Okay. But when it comes to soccer, once we pack the chair here, we can even have a mini competition here. Okay, that's right. I think that is the reason why some of us left the other sports and concentrated on soccer. Okay. So when it comes to basketball, mm -hmm. as a coach, volleyball, no tennis, table tennis. Oh, I see. Yes, because I played all from the basic level mm -hmm. right to the top. Okay. So I met different coaches. That is why I have different knowledge about the game. And that is why I understand football so much. The other sports actually play soccer. Mm. So for you to coach soccer very well, you must understand every component. Okay. For instance, when it comes to aspect of striking, mm -hmm. I rely on golf coaches to pick a knowledge. Where the name? Loading and hitting the ball. Okay. It comes with the same principle of striking the ball from a striker's position. Okay. So when it comes to like uh, the attacking midfield like this, what other sport would you link that to? So when you come from that. Attack inside of the game to defense, you can rely on boxing. How? Ah. Yeah, where you have to be quick dodging the box. You know? So you design them. Every training center will be related. Okay. But when it comes to other aspects, that is where the reflex comes in. So your volleyball skill comes in, your basketball skill comes in. Mm. Mm. I see. Wow. The so swimming place overall. Swimming, yeah? Swimming. Okay. So once the season comes to an end, you go for the swimming session, you are working on the cardio. And like I said, you are working on the endurance. Mm. But cardio and endurance, as they like the same, I don't know, me, I'm just. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. No, it's different. No, because, I, because I thought that, you know, you, you, you do cardio to build endurance. Yes, 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 of course. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can work on your cardio, mm -hmm. but you still have the endurance. Because it goes with your mental strength. Okay. In the brain. Okay. So I have played almost all sports. Yes, I grew up in Japan. Uh, mm -hmm. I played almost all sports. And virtually I won everything. So I was jack of all trade. And master, master of, of all. all. 
<laughs> that's that's interesting. That's interesting. So yeah, um, I wanted to find out from you. I've, I've, like I said, I've had the privilege of being on several shows with you, and I've listened to your views on why our teams perform and the way they do and all that. And you talk a lot about nutrition. Um, when you look at our, our sports, not just football, like do we have the right nutrition for our our, our sportsmen? Do you think it plays a part in us performing the way we do? And what do you think should we do to improve if there's if improvements is needed? I think when it comes to nutrition, I'll tell you the entire country, it's below below. So let's say if I'm marking over ten, okay. our nutrition aspect of the game, it's below two. Below two? Yeah, below two. So let's say one. I'm giving one because we eat at home. Okay. But the proper nutrition to develop the proper muscle structure of an athlete in Ghana here, it's below. I, I can't count any organization that would be a well, woman right to bring academy. Okay. And few of the academies might be above three. I see. So yes. even right to do women. Yes, let's say let's give them five. You give them five. You give them five. For all five the... and the rest. I see. And what's 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 informed this this mark you give them? Why is it? I, I think I'm not done hundred percent research. Okay. I've done research on the course level to the premiership mm -hmm. as a full, I think. You gave me a certain privilege to be there few games and mm. we're able to adjust things around. Mm. Mm. But when you take it as a whole, why I'm putting it in that second is when you pick 100 clubs and only one can get five, mm -hmm. then that means we fail as a nation. Oh, definitely. Uh -huh. definitely. Because it means those who have been doing well are not having effect on those who are not doing well. Okay. You know, if I know about it, we are practicing it very well. It's a way of spreading the cost. So we are we are going to to people that this is what is driving the industry. Okay. So those who are doing well stands on five. Yeah. And we those who are not doing well stands on zero point one or point one. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is this this is not a laughing matter, but it's, it's very serious. Yes, because I've done recently I did water and I did water and eighty five percent of water we take in are almost highly acidic. Okay. So it looks like five fifteen percent that is what is good for consumption. Okay. For the body to perform very well. Because the body is supposed to be alkaline. Yeah. So once you are taking in acid and especially your blood group O, which you naturally produce acid, and you're taking in more acid, you yeah. don't happen to the alit. Okay. So you cannot get that performance from the alit. So that means that there's a link between even your blood type and the kind of water. Oh yes, there. yes, there's a very so deep link. So that means that we have to have a mechanism whereby we, we, we know each player's blood type. And yes, then, and then uh, tailor uh, everything uh, around around that. So let's take it for instance. If I want to work on you as a player, mm -hmm. what I do first is your body mass index. Okay, that is the B, M, mm I, -hmm. the body mass index. Yeah, you pick on the body mass index. Then you go to the lab, okay. to the medical doctor, and we get a full blood count of your body. Okay. And we sit down and look at your body mass index. Are you underweight or overweight? Mm -hmm. Then we check with blood group type on you. Mm -hmm. Then there is a further test we need to do to check your muscle structure. The muscle structure? Yes, because the muscles are going to be the same. As we sit down, we have the fast switch fiber, mm -hmm. the slow switch fiber, and the hybrid. Okay. So these are three forms of muscles. So one training will not be good for three players. I see. Okay, so once you are given one type of training, there will be a particular group that will be picking up, and another group will be going down. So if what I'm gathering from you is correct, that means that there's no, there's definitely no one size fits all solution for any particular team. No, no, but no. but then but then again, like if you look at teams, like I'm I'm talking about football here. If you're looking at a team like Barcelona, like Bayern, Munich, do they have these tailor, tailored, uh, structured training regimes? We don't need to mention it. Why do they have to manage for? Those places. I did further research. Okay. They have well structured teams. Mm -hmm. That is why you can go to a medical test or the fitness test. Hmm. 
when it came to that, it was Japan. That is what I was talking about. I see. And it was through various interviews. Then I decided to do a further search. Mm. Because he goes to lecture in Japan. Okay. I learned about that. Yes, that's true. So that is where I got the money from. Mm. Then I came across this Nigerian who is an expert in that. Okay. Then I started doing further check. So I started watching myself as an athlete. Mm. There were food I eat knowing, without knowing, it enhanced my performance. Okay. Which was most terrible. There were food to you eat, you feel like today you didn't perform well. You mm. might win the race, but you were not yourself. Yeah, okay. So I started going back to my days. What do I eat to perform? Mm. Then I started asking your friend, Charlie, me if I eat KK, and you run well. Mm. With soup, with light soup. Okay. So we started picking all those information. Then I went back to the seventies and the sixties when they was doing well. What best well vested in diet. Don't be surprised. So so why has that changed? I think along the line we're not documenting. Okay. And we didn't understand what was giving us the win. Mm. Okay. And then too our food were purely organic. Mm, yeah. So pollution was less. So there was less pollution in the air, less chemicals in the food. Mm. So the, the roots, the fiber, and less chemicals. So we have less chemicals in the food we eat, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. Natural. So in the systems, our health conditions were better than now. Than now. So once you are developing, things affect genetics mm -hmm. and your body strategy. Mm -hmm. So once we are developing, then we need to be more a little bit in artificial. But we have a system well, we have a land system which is which has all the minerals. Mm. So all we need is to produce more organic. Mm. So why would we encourage the clubs to build farms? So you have enough food to feed to players and support to society with expert on board. So once once we develop, we're not looking at expert. So when it comes to agri, there's an expert who know how much it is chemical we decide to apply. But rather, everybody in Ghana can apply with this Okay. So we've destroyed the natural system. Mm. It goes into the body. This body was designed that whatever you eat is actually your medicine. So you don't need medicine to survive. Mm -hmm. Once the food is good, you are healthy. Yeah. Once the water is good, you are healthy. So once the system is back mm -hmm. and you eliminate acid or you minimize acid, there's no condition for disease to grow. Bacteria to grow and virus to grow. So once we don't get these things right, the adults will only depend on their talent. And they can't go far, they can't excel. Mm. That is all when it comes to diet. We went to street what to eat. Highly nutrition. When it comes to diet, we are highly beneficial, mm. neutral, and avoid. Okay. So for instance, I don't know which people they get more. Because of the blood group B. Okay. How, how does chicken affect your performance as a blood group B? What's what, what, what is not, what is it about chicken that's not good for your particular blood group B? Yes, when, like, when I was doing the research, we found out when you consume so much, there's a particular chemical. Mm -hmm. I think I, I call it chicken. Mm -hmm. Once it can boss it, it's much in your body. Mm -hmm. Your body cannot take it out. Your body finds it different. Mm. So it keeps going to lead towards another form of sickness and cancer. Mm. I see. Blood group O, uh, B, A do not do well on mushroom, but mushroom is very healthy. Mm. So, so you will be doing well, in, or you are doing well on it. So one man's food is one man's poison. It's actually a good saying. It's actually, it's, it's actually, it's actually valid. It's actually valid. I see. It's actually valid. So when you go to the big clubs, mm -hmm. if you in the North Africa, breakfast is actually food. Lunch is food. Dinner is food. So okay. A, B, A, B, and O. That is how they serve the food. Okay. So you bring it up. So it's customized for each plate, like the categories. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Do you understand? So I'll be doing more Martin. Martin. We are over here. We eat fried rice and kinky and 
I hear a certain tea went somewhere, travel somewhere, they're eating french fries and rice. No, 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 no. There's no way I have a game 72 hours to get ahead. Uh -huh. Well, I don't know which type of rice, high quality rice. No, 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 no. I must be aware what you eat in the mess 72 hours before the game. It's so particular to me that. You know, but you know, we must have watched so many things. Mm -hmm. When somebody can't even mention to me, one of them is your favorite, which <laughs> cannot happen 72 hours before a game, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. You don't need to take it. 72 hours before a game, there's no way. Thank God, thank God I'm not a player then. <laughs> <laughs> that is all I would say. I'm still taking it. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So there's a lot. <laughs> but once you can work on diet, I'm telling you, once Ghana can face and work on diet, start with the body mass index, work on diet and the muscle stretch, and try to go to win the world. You look at what we show when we go to tournament. Yeah. Look at number 17 and 10, mm -hmm. look at 95, look at what we show to the world. Mm -hmm. Look at number 20. Just a little touch and a little push. So let me give you something. What does it matter? One is the fight coach. Mm -hmm. We push through. Push. Yeah. Because there's that kind of discipline on what even what we eat is the same food. Yeah. So we have no problem, it's not our food that is the problem. It is how we put it together. Yeah. Okay. And one German, one national team went for oh, Peter School Bonds. Mm. You know there's a leak. So much in excess at our river banks. Highly nutrition. So I go, we have everything in so good. Very powerful. We have so many things here which we sit down with research department and we put together and we start feeding ourselves, not just the players. I mean, I'll tell you, we go places. More nutrition is the reason we're not performing. So once you can identify that and feed people very well, I'll tell you, we go places. So when I was playing the sport, I didn't know much about nutrition. But along the line, I was looking, I came across our coach, we so recently put sugar. He was an IAF technical director. Okay. That was the genesis of all this. Okay. Don't eat this, don't do this. Don't eat it, don't eat it. Ah. Just imagine your favorite food, a hustler in Ghana, and they say, should you eat this if you want to run this time? Right. And but once we don't eat, we hit the time. I see. So within two, uh, six weeks, you can take a microsecond off your time. Mm. So I started day, I started following Arsenal as a club. Because of Arsenal, yeah. Then we get more insight. Then I met one mother, Bolivia Zitolina. I think I was waiting for her to interview her. Okay. She was in Ghana here. Okay. And she got me all the books. She got me the knowledge and said, Come push for me. That is the success story of all my juvenile teams. And my individual players, you have seen a lot of things like that. Oh, yeah. So you put them on height, you put them on water, you supervise their sleep, they sleep very well, they wake up in the morning, they deliver. So Kenny came into town and he said, I will support you. So we started, people started digging and laughing. Kenichi. Uh, Kenichi. Mm. Then we started taking the bigger token. Mm -hmm. And I tell you the strength it gives to a player. When you say, the cocoa on the street was mm. sitting. And the cold stay and those things. Once you can take it and take it. Away. Once the first session ends and you are able to do the refilling, you are telling you, you want to see what you do. That is why that particular squad of house of food could do the camp work. Mm. That was when we also got them the over water, which was alkaline. So the combination is there. So you have a good coach with high technical knowledge, with that back in it. Mm. And that was the performance. You can remember the miracle of Tana. Then yes, came back and gave it to Yes. To the, you know, it's not easy for a Ghanaian club to just do come back. Yes, like that. No, it's, 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 and come back to the nature. Come back with performance. Yeah, it was, it was a very important Because well, once you eat very well and the system is good, you have to focus very well and concentrate. Mm -hmm. The brain needs 85%. You have about trillions of cells mm -hmm. in the body. Right. And the brain needs 85% of academic. Mm -hmm. That is the brain. <laughs> that is what the brain needs. Mm -hmm. So once you are not producing this, but we cannot produce the results. So we have produced results based on talent. I want you to look up in the sky and that. For That's instance, if I run, uh, 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 mm -hmm. I'll develop a good final system. So that once you come to national team, we know what you're feeding. 
So once you're feeling the coaches are there, the coaches, the game must evolve. The science of the chemistry must be good, the biology must be good, the physics must be good. Then you understand what goes into the system. How the mechanism works. Mm -hmm. So our mechanism is actually the car mechanism. You can't do without a brake. You can't do without one tire. You can't do without a transmission fluid. Mm -hmm. okay, if you don't change the gears, the car can't move. Can move yeah. The same way everything travels into the system. Mm -hmm. And that goes through the nerves of the brain and it starts working. Mm -hmm. They start giving that performance. So you have to take Barcelona, we keep on winning the Champions League, the Real Madrid and the rest. Because, because they are all doing well and try as much as possible. Mm -hmm. to make sure they put the players at a certain level. Because I remember when uh, Pep Guardiola took over in took over Barcelona in 2000, <laughs> I heard they got a special nutritionist for Messi to minimize his injuries. And it seemed to work. Yes. You know, uh, when it comes to that, I think if not because of Pep, Messi probably ended his career well, yeah. short. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't mean they're wasting all the time. They are not going to work, especially in South America. Mm -hmm. They only feel like, they also feel like us. Okay. But when that came in, you realize that. So, at a point in time, you have been a stunt to myself, right? You see my sister vomiting on the floor. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and even the gods were still, I think the uniform was suspected. People were suspected it was a drug. Yeah. But, but then the system was not changing. Mm. Rebuilding itself. Right. And that is the strength of Christian all over the world. He understood the diet very early. Mm. Because, you know what? The diet actually, you see, there are two, I'll bring you something here. We have what we call the uh, metabolic age okay. and the real age. The, the metabolic age is kind of inward. Okay. And you can get it through the body mass index if that test is done. Mm -hmm. So, you can be 40 years now mm -hmm. and your metabolic age is 60. Okay. So, what it means is your organs are functioning in the system. So you die at 40, and you're trying to die at 60. <laughs> okay, all right. So when we are able to work on your metabolic age, your physical age is good. So let's assume you are 40 years, mm -hmm. and your metabolic age is around 25. You're good to go. You're good to go. It means yeah. everything is functioning well. Mm -hmm. That's a Christian with a lot of statuses. It's still so producing. It's, yeah, it's That's so why they see, because they have a very good diet system that is keeping them alive. So, for us to even keep alive, mm -hmm. that is why the growth age in Japan is really high. Mm. Because they understand the diet very well. They have worked into the plastics, which we are still doing currently here. Okay. It's one of one, of, one, of, one killer. Wow. From plastics? Yes, like by the cocoa, mm, hot, yeah, yeah. plastic, mm. by watch. Many of are killer. That is why the countries are moving back to the leaves. So but when it comes to nutrition in Ghana, right from the national team mm -hmm. to the lowest club, when you take the academies out, who are doing very well? Mm -hmm. Nobody scores for 2%. Wow. I see. Interesting. So on that, on that note, I want to ask, so what do you think currently uh, accounts more for our performances in sports uh, competitions. Is it the technical aspect or the nutritional aspect? Because from what you're saying, I'm beginning to believe that it is more nutritional than it is technical. Yeah. Uh, uh, nutrition and fitness are proportion to tactics now. They still move hand in hand. That is why we can hardly produce, repeatedly produce that top round of kit. That is why internally we can win the league, but we cannot cross even smaller clubs in Africa. Mm. So, for instance, Kotoko qualified for the money zone. I think I told them they will not go beyond. I should go there. I told them, I think I so folk. I didn't say it with pride in terms of negativity. But I think the first game against work. And I told them if we should concede mm. 25 minutes, two goals. Who consider more than four? We consider six. Against GSS. GSS. Sorry. I think I told them on three different stations that the people have four goals. Nothing can claim the four. We have only one. We can 
they are, they are two. No, we are only one against them there. Here we have three goals. We are going to score two. Oh, okay. <laughs> In the return leg, we had the people had four. I started saying it a week before the game. Four. How did you see that? Yes, because when you check with your heat maps, mm -hmm. performance mm -hmm. video analyst, so you pick all the data of the clubs in the last eight games they played. Mm -hmm. So when I check the heat maps from their data, you see one thing we are shocking from data does not lie. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do well, you must keep the data of your club and the players. Mm -hmm. So when I check the last few games of us and the preseason, they, they just played a few games before playing one. Play this then I realize these people are able to score for constantly. Mm -hmm. One has a cannot score more than two. I see. So you sit down and you analyze those things. You put, pick up the hit marks. Now when these people give me an opportunity to watch their training, and I saw what they were doing. They were doing what we call technique, insight, and communication. And they were doing it well. Mm. And they made sure they had the results they were looking for. So while they were going to return, they pick on each player and knew how we were going to move. Mm. And know the strength of us. Mm. Now when I finished with electronics as a data aspect, I come back to see how poor condition we are. So that is where the diet comes in. Okay. So that, that is just like the foundation. Mm -hmm. So when the foundation is weak, I know what will happen at the top. So our teams internally will perform, but not till then, mm -hmm. if we are not careful, we don't change our people. In the next 25 years, no team can make it beyond the money zone. I said the 25 years, seven years back. We've done seven years in the 25. So, so you have 18 years. On your show, I'll say we have 18 years. years. So until something changes radical, we will not be able to. We will not be able to make it. We only come fight and get and participate, but we will not make any mini impact. Hmm. So that is what is happening to us. But once we're able to put it, so what is keeping us now? The talent is still keeping on us, hmm. but talent has never been enough. No, talent has never been enough. So we need to add up to make the talent complete. So once we can make the talent complete, we can go out there and compete. That is why Titi had a very good coach, and he was worked on. The Boxing Association did very well. Joe Joshi and his team, we did very well. This place was speaking through the body mass index, everything. The test was run on almost all the boxers. They had a resident dentition. And at least we brought a medal. So if we present maybe four elite, and one brings you a medal, check the average. So if we just that's, that's, that's a twenty-five percent return. Yes. And the team brought it, and we all do it. Are we not doing it? We're all happy because we, it was our first. Our first medal since what? Nineteen ninety-two. So when this Lord Japan left Ghana, mm -hmm. he was he became a world star. As Martin left Ghana and went to the Olympics and World Championship. Yeah. Watching in the US, watching in America. You've been in Spain, you've seen the facilities, you've seen the infrastructure, you've seen the indoor infrastructure. Yeah. When you are in Ghana and our rain party continues, June, July, you can never develop any water. Mm. Once it's raining, you can you must stop yeah. raining. Yeah. And you need a sequence to be able to hit the market. So you need to get like an indoor yes. so that you can continue. We need to invest in resource speed. We need to invest in aspect. That's so that when we come to this particular field, you see, coaching has gone beyond shout. <laughs> you must, almost like a medical person, you must have that background mm. to understand what an go goes through. Yeah. Once you're able to go that, I will tell you, the country that can use less than 12 years to win a World Cup is Ghana. You can use 20, just 12 years. Spain used like 44 years. <laughs> Germany used like 12 years between the last edition yes, of the uh, uh, And look at the preparation. We have enough talent that if things are done very well, we only need a generation of five to six AFCON. Then you do well in the next World Cup. Because they have come coming every two years. Yes, yeah. So go the project that I'm targeting the six AFCON in my project. Mm -hmm. So we go and we win earlier. It's not on 
we don't be a continuous continuous. So let's pick a generation of 10 to 15 years and say we are doing three work up, which is 12 years. Yeah. 12 plus 12. That's actually even eight years. Oh, but okay, let's say at the, end, at the end of one work up, you start preparing for the next two. So that was 12 years. So we continue. So let's say you have a generation that's 14 years old. Mm. Add yeah. another 12 to 14, how will you tell yeah. You'll be around 22, yeah. 24. So that is the getting to the peak of your sports. Okay. So before we realize we are ruling the world. Mm. But this is where we are. And we are not, you know, yeah. but we are not doing anything right. Absolutely nothing right. If I sit in front of you, in front of the Fed President, the President of the Republic, mm. I'm telling you the that we need to build structures and build policy. Germany has built personnel. That is why today, in the top premiership leagues, you have German coaches ruling all of Japan invested over 50,000 coaches, and Ken is part of them. How many, how many, how many coaches have we invested in? It's not going to profitalize us in. It need huge investment. We need to have total knowledge, broad knowledge about the game. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate about this sport because I played it. Yeah. I had a potential to get to the top. But no, there are only few things holding us. And one of them was that and data. That is when I got to know that I decided to invest much of my time and my knowledge into that. Once we are able to do that, we will be ruling the world and it give us income. Sports in Africa, it's 700 billion dollars. And Africa is here to scratch the surface. Why can't we put in more and bring more so that we stop borrowing small, small money? Ah, coach. I'm, 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 I'm actually enjoying this, but I think that you have to, you have to end it here for now, and then we'll continue in the next, uh, in the next episode. So yeah, so uh, guys, this was, this is uh, Coach Vincent Abiu with his extreme but positive views on on, on sports, and uh, I know if if you listen to me and you hear some of the things I say and some of the things I write, it looks like we have, we think alike when it comes to certain things. Definitely when it comes to nutrition, I have no idea about it. But like, you know, when it comes to the, 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 the investment and uh, calling for proper structures and everything, uh, I, I guess we think alike. And yeah, so just to reiterate uh, my own call to make us invest more in sports. Anyway, well, uh, Coach, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for, for, for being here. And uh, yeah, so this is uh, this was uh, William Alexander Coleman, aka Arasmataz, uh, with another Arasmataz weekly show. We'll be here next week with uh, Coach Vincent uh, again because I'm actually enjoying this conversation. Now we'll bring you part two of this conversation. And yeah, if you like the video, please like it. Please like it. Please hit on like. Please share. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Once again, a big thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Arthur for allowing us to be here at Barrington's, the campus hub on, uh, at Commonwealth Hall on the Legon campus. And yeah, uh, if nothing comes up between now and then, now and next week, sorry, I'll see you again on another Erasmus House weekly show. Otherwise, you'll see me again real soon on another Upside Call episode. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Peace.